Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battles video guide. You will be able to find this and all my other Territory Battle guides on my Swaga for Life website so if you haven't seen it yet go ahead check it out there will be link in the description below. In this one I'll be returning to the planet of Kashyyyk, I'll be done a few videos with different things. Now I've got some new teams relic up to Relic 7 and I want to revisit and in this video just showed you the teams, new teams that I was able to get to work on Kashyyyk. Uh, most importantly, I finally have a full Relic 7 Wookiee squad and as well uh, Saw Guerrera at Relic 7 and also brought in my whole Jedi Master Kenobi squad as well to Relic 7. So those three teams I'll be trying out in today's video. Now as always, there'll be YouTube chapters below if you want to skip through to a particular battle I'll first kick off with the Wookiee one. Um, so uh, the mission on Kashyyyk here. We need a light side Wookiees. So unfortunately, Kersantan will not help us here. In terms of the modifiers, uh, we got just retaliation for this one. So whenever a unit takes damage, they gain 20% critical damage until they score a critical hit. Whenever a unit is debuffed, they recover 10%. Uh, protection and whenever a unit is defeated another random ally takes a bonus turn so the the biggest thing really was the protection recovery uh, in the, this battle for the enemies because Wookiees they do not have healing immunity and some of them do as you will see in the battle do put out debuffs uh, so you know some of the tankier enemies we were struggling sometimes uh, to take them down but you know I'll walk you through it as I'm going through the battle and then the other one, Imperial Supremacy, it's a quite a lengthy one, but essentially uh, the most uh, challenging part of this is that whenever enemy, they use a special ability, they will increase damage uh, by 10% uh, until the end of the counter for all allies. So the longer battle goes on, the harder these guys will be hitting. And if that's not enough, also whenever they do use a special abilities, as well call other allies to assist and they get as well imperial probe droid uh, summoned as well so you have to be a little bit careful so it doesn't go off too much with its self-destruct ability uh, but anyway these are just standard kashik modifiers if you've been to kashik you probably know what they do so this is my Wookiee team i don't think this is an ideal team because uh, probably zalbar as well as clone wars chewbacca would be more useful here because Starfall's got a lot of things when it comes to health up that Clone Wars Chewbacca uh, dishes out. And then as well, Zalbar's got a, his own stacking defense combination with stacking defense from Tarful. You know, he can really put some big damage. He's also very durable, very tanking and can take a lot of hits. Same goes for Clone Wars Chewbacca. However, uh, these are the Wookiees. I already had relic up from other endeavors. So instead of, you know, spending my resources getting Zalbar, as well as Clone Wars Chewie to Gear 13 and then relic them up, I just kind of took the easy route and luckily it was enough. But again, not ideal lineup. Uh, probably the least ideal Wookiee lineup that I'll show you, but I can still get it to work with the correct modding. Uh, speaking of modding, uh, let's go ahead and uh, review some of the abilities here and their mods. Now Tarful lead, uh, his leadership does quite a lot, so at the start of the battle all Wookiee ally tanks stone for one turn. And the only tank I do have uh, on my Wookiee squad is Vander Chewbacca. Now even though he's a tank, he's not very durable, not nearly as durable as Zalbar would be. Uh, so keeping him alive was a bit of a challenge. Uh, but I found kind of a modding hack, if you will, to make him survive. So uh, Wander Chewbacca, in my case, will start off with a taunt. And then whenever uh, a Wookiee taunts, all uh, Wookiees, they will gain 10% stacking defense, uh, which is nice. Then whenever taunt expires, we recover health. And at the end, at the start of each uh, Wookiee's turn, they gain offense equal to 200% of their defense. Uh, that's why that stacking defense, a little bit we get from the leadership. But Zalbar himself is stack, has stacking defense anytime he's hit. You can already see how this could work really well. Um, so that's why, uh, as you can see, Tarful is all about kind of defense. So the modding strategy was here. Um, I just put uh, defense sets on everybody and health sets. So just mod them for health and defense, uh, protection as well if you want. Whatever mods you've got really uh, that are, you know, very good. So you can see all these guys very tanky, kind of durable, have Chewbacca again, modded for health, 
uh, some defense sets as well. I didn't have enough good solid uh, health mods, so some of them have defense. But remember, the more defense we have, the more damage we will be doing as well. Now, Vendor Chewy, he was the only one I had to mod it in a specific way. I needed to make him the least tanky of them all. So he gets guard from Chewbacca and then he can't be critically hit. Because remember, he will be pretty taunting and then as well, he himself can't grant taunt. But uh, from the leadership, he gets taunt at the start of the battle and then as well, uh, with one of the uh, special abilities from Tarful, as well, will put taunt on Wookiee allies. So again, having Zalbar in here would be a lot more useful, but I don't, so I'm just doing what I have, and uh, that's how I was able to kind of do it. So if you know, just if you're not sure, just like going to Galactic Challenge or something, mod your Wookies, uh, and you know, until you see that uh, Vendor Chewy, for example, <laughs> if you are using the same lineup, that is, uh, gets guard, so then he can't be critically hit. Other guys just modded for defense and health whatever you've got in terms of modding i think both those strategies will work by the way let's hop in the battle now as you can see we got guard on uh, vander chewbacca he's the only tank on my wookie squad so he's taunting but because he can't be critically hit there he can take quite a lot of hits let's get the mass assist going that's the middle ability here uh, from tarful there we go perfect we'll just keep going uh, let's go ahead uh, dispel everything uh, get a try and get a stun on stormtrooper i just kind of like to keep stormtrooper under control because if he taunts right every time we hit him we are losing termeter and then as well his basic can land expose as well uh, which obviously can do some big damage if your guys are modded for health but on that uh, keep him stunned uh, whenever you can keep going after him as you can see without healing immunity every time we land a debuff on stormtrooper he's healing up uh, but eventually, you know, you do get him down and between Chewbacca's assists and everything. Get a stun on him, perfect. Uh, we'll just, I'm just speeding up the footage so this video won't be like an hour long with all these free battles I'm about to share with you. But as you can see, we keep going, keep trying to keep Stormtrooper stunned so he doesn't get his uh, taunt up. Um, there we go. Almost got him in the yellow. Bit of a heal there from the commander, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. Another mess assist, another stun. Uh, we go almost got him um let's actually also take care of scout trooper there while we have stormtrooper um as well taunting okay get another stun down in the red let's go ahead and see if we can line up a hit big one oh there we go so with stormtrooper down things become a lot faster you know he's very durable very tanky that's why I kind of started working on him to begin with. And now we're just kind of going after Stormtrooper Commander. I'm trying to avoid using AoEs at this point. Uh, because obviously I don't want to get Imperial Probe Droid. <laughs> They're below 100% health because then it can self-destruct. And there you go. It did self-destruct. And it didn't do a whole lot of that damage. So again, maybe it's nothing to worry about. I don't know. Anyway, we are now into the second wave. Uh, we have Ninth Sister with two Perch Troopers. Uh, we got a pre taunt on there. Uh, let's just get our uh, buffs going. Okay, that's fine. As you can see, they are taking a lot of turns, uh, but we do have some nice defense here, so they're not doing a whole lot of damage using the operations ability there to dispel the taunt. And I'm gonna go after Perch Trooper number one. Uh, we'll just keep going. Okay, this you can see doing some damage. Uh, got a dispel from Vander Chewbacca, put blind on everybody, get a stun on Perch Trooper. There we go. Okay, there we go, nice dodge there because of the blind that uh, uh, 3PO and Chewie uh, applied. We got Perch Trooper in the yellow already, we'll just keep going. Uh, sure, get me a stun, almost got him. Uh, let's just do a basic again, I don't want to... <laughs> Uh, do too much damage to probe droid yet uh, let's go ahead and do the special just to get some protection up for render chewy there goes purge trooper number one as you can see vendor chewy he can't be critically hit because of guard on him so he's taking the hits pretty good uh, let's go ahead put the blind again on the enemies and we go after the purge trooper number two now okay all right keep going guys come on keep going you've got this uh oh uh sure just give me a basic uh basic there get me a stun 
uh, maybe get a stun on Land Sister. Hey, there we go. As you can see, actually, veteran Chewbacca helping us there with the stuns as well. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get um, a mess assist going. Perch Trooper number one down for the count. And once you're just down to Nine Sister, things obviously became a little bit easier because Perch Troopers they do a lot of damage. Uh, but still, Nine Sister eventually does ramp up, so definitely try to keep your stun locked if you can. Again, I'm trying a little bit to avoid doing AoEs to begin with so that Probe Drop does not become an issue. Okay, there we go. Alright, well, probe, dro probe droids down anyway. Let's go ahead, unload AoE. Almost got Nine Sister down. Let's go ahead, use the platoon ability, <laughs> which healed up Nine Sister. Are you kidding me? Anyway, Chewbacca took her down. And that's it. That's my Wookiee squad and how I use them again. Not the ideal lineup, but you know, they do work pretty well for me. Now, speaking of not ideal lineups, I also don't think I have an ideal lineup for Sogar mission. But again, I'm just using the Rebel Fighters I do have at Relic 7. In terms of the battle modifiers, exactly the same modifier as the Wookiee mission. We've got this Imperial modifier where they get stacking damage as well as assist. And same thing with the Retaliation. They will be recovering uh, protection whenever we debuff them. But luckily, we do have healing immunity on this team. Thanks to Cassian. Again, these are the only Rebel Fighters I have here available. Um, obviously, having Captain Rex here would be very nice, but I use him with clones uh, there on Zepho here in Sector 3, so he's unavailable for the Saw mission uh, most of the times. So he would be a good replacement, uh, maybe for Drogon or somebody. And then as well, having Kyle could help. Mine's only a Trelic 5 door, though, because remember, he'll start with a 40% ter meter to begin with. So he can open up with his special, which gives uh, Cara Dune potency up, then she gets taken out, she gets revived. So, you know, probably like somebody like Kyle and Captain Rex would be better. But again, these are just the squads I have at Relic 7. Uh, I only pushed, I think, Baze and Cara to Relic 7, the other guys, anyway, I had already. And of course, so for this mission. So that's, you know, I'm just trying to do with minimum investment these missions. That's why my lineups are not always ideal. In terms of modding, I didn't really know the, exactly how to mod these guys. It was my first attempt. I just kept Drogon modded for offense. I just loaded so with lots of uh, health there. Uh, because, right, he's got some health over time buff. So probably more focus on health is better. Cassian mod him for potency because we need his debuffs to stick. Especially healing immunity. Cara Dune mod her for potency because she's got an AoE that stuns Empire enemies. And all of our enemies are Empire. And base again, I just modded for half there. Again, hoping he can take a few hits. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, roll the battle. Uh, let me show you how this one uh, goes for me. Enemy, they will start off first. Again, having Kyle maybe would allow you to go first. <laughs> Thank you, Baze. You were very helpful. Well, at least he took a hit, so now the other guys will have to carry this. Uh, all right, uh, well, I'll just uh, keep going again. I, I'm just new new owner of uh, Leia, so I don't exactly understand what Drogon does and things like that. So I'm just kind of pushing buttons. Hopefully I'm playing it okay. Uh, same thing with So. I have no idea what his abilities do exactly. I'm just kind of hitting his special as, as they're available. The two I do know well is Kara. Obviously, whenever she's got potency up, she will be revived if she gets taken out. And as well, she's got an AoE with only two turn cooldown. So every other turn she takes, she'll be able to remove turn meter from the enemies as well as stun them because they're all Empire. And then obviously we need Cassian. Also, he's useful uh, because his uh, special applies lots of debuffs, including healing immunity. And his other special copies the debuffs onto the target. So we got two patch troopers to be dealing with. Uh, so if one of them is stunned, you can then just use the special that copies debuffs from Cassian on the other Purge Troopers. So as you can see, I'm constantly keeping these guys stun locked as much as I can. Because remember, as soon as you de defeat one of them, a random enemy takes uh, a turn as well. So you just have to try and keep them stun locked. And as actually, Drogan himself, he's got as well stun on his basic whenever it's his turn. Uh, so maybe, maybe actually modding Drogan for potency instead of offense could help a little bit landing his stuns more reliably as well, making easier the whole thing. And thanks to the healing immunity uh, that Cassian applies with his special where he throws grenade, just stops that uh, protection recovery whenever we are landing so many debuffs. So apart from losing base, 
in the opening way opening starting sequence we did pretty well here there we go same thing Kara really is the MVP here uh, maybe if you got Captain Rex instead of Kara you know he's got an AoE days uh, maybe he could replace Kara there I, I don't know but I find her very useful constantly pushing back Termiter and mass stunning everybody I think this is pretty useful and otherwise we'll just keep going um, so yeah, maybe one thing that I would change, maybe Captain Rex instead of Drogon, I guess having base for the pre taunt is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, maybe that would be the one change I would make, uh, is just have Captain Rex. But again, if you're like me, you need him at Z in Zepho mission uh, for uh, the clones mission there, uh, then obviously you will have to do what you have to do. And this also means that I have to use Leia without the Drogon here in Sector 3. But she still gets the job done, you know, she doesn't need a Drogon actually here in Territory Battles. Obviously he makes things a lot easier with his stuns and everything. But you can see we're doing pretty well, uh, took out Perch Trooper, just keep spending those debuffs, let Kara do her AoEs constantly and you are good to go. Um, so yeah, as long as probably you got Kara in here, Cassian, um, you know, you should be good to go I think. Uh, we'll just keep going, keep looping, there we go. Because yeah, if I would have base and they would just like one shot Kara straight out of the gate, right? That could be inconvenient. So maybe if you do have Jean at Relic 7, she could be a nice one. She could revive base, for example, uh, instead of Drogon. She also has got a stun ability. Uh, so maybe if she's at Relic 7 for you, uh, instead of uh, Drogon, she could work as well. Maybe mention Jean also because of the revives and everything. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it was it was okay for my first attempt. I didn't know exactly what I was doing, so I was pretty happy. And for the final battle today, um, I've got Jedi Master Kenobi. I know, I know, it's probably old news for most of you. Kenobi clears this very easily, but I did not have Commander Ahsoka at Relic 7 uh, up until now. Uh, I also don't have Padawan Ahsoka at Relic 7, so I'm just going to bring in Jedi Anakin in here uh, for the fifth member. But actually, he works pretty well because whenever somebody drops, below 50% health, he gains bonus turn, then Padme gains a bonus turn, and she can then heal up with her special, or even with her basic will give protection up to all your guys. Uh, so actually having uh, their Anakin actually maybe is better than having Padawan Ahsoka, I don't know. Although Padawan Ahsoka is nice with her dispels and assists and everything. Uh, yeah, it took me a while to get my Ahsoka to Relic 7 because she's not really needed at Relic 7 for anything. Um, I've mainly been kind of focusing obviously on Galactic Legend requirements for Relic 7s uh, but now that I'm all caught up with all the GLs I can actually start bumping up my teams uh, for territory battles uh, which is nice. Anyway, uh, I'll just start off first here by putting damage immunity on General Kenobi so <laughs> he can take uh, all the opening attacks without any issues. Uh, obviously those exposes, um, you know, could a little bit be problematic so we'll uh, insta-kill um, Stroll Trooper first as soon as Commander Sokatano gets out her four sleep ability. Uh, sure, let's just give me a kick in the face on Stormtrooper. Perfect. Uh, give me another seize, just trying to build up my ultimate here, so just get lots of uh, basics attacks as much as I can. Alright, okay. Yep, they got a few hits in there. Can all be taunting so far pretty well. He's out of his bonus protection though. Uh, but anyway, we've got a uh, high ground uh, thing lined up on, on our next turn, so this should give us give us back some bonus protection. I'm just going to use here Padme's ability to give us some protection up. Finally getting Stormtrooper out of here, get out his Expose, because remember our team is modded for health, and Exposes uh, deal uh, damage based on health. So we got Stormtrooper out, and as soon as Stormtrooper goes down, we've got now high ground as well, things become a lot easier. Going after Stormtrooper Commander next to stop the healing. Uh, let's go ahead pass the turn over to uh, Kenobi. Uh, there we go. I think I'm just gonna save uh, the damage immunity ability for the start of the next turn. So we can do the same trick, putting damage immunity on General Kenobi so he can take all those hits. So we got Mara in this one. Um, should be okay, I guess. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, sure, get me a um, mass assist, I guess. Just again, start working towards the ultimate drop that damage immunity on General Kenobi so again he can take a few hits when enemy finally starts get going. Anakin Zeoe actually dispels buffs uh, which is nice uh, if Padme is on the team. Uh, okay there we go we'll just start working on Perch Trooper number one 
All right, uh, sure. Just give me a dispel. Let's go ahead and also cleanse off uh, those uh, exposes on Kenobi. Padme, they are healing up Kenobi. Kenobi still taking hits. And that's what I'm saying, like, it's a nice interaction there between Padme and Anakin, uh, you know, getting bonus turns. We hit the high ground, healed up General Kenobi just in time before he got gunned down as well. Remember these guys, the longer battle goes on, the more special abilities they use, the more damage they will be doing. Um, that's why you want to, you know, try to rush these guys before they ramp up too much, especially the two Perch Trooper. As soon as, uh, you know, Perch Troopers are down, uh, things become easier. Just clean up the last Stormtrooper there. And this completed now uh, for me. Just, you know, the generic light side mission on Kashyyyk again. Old news for many of you, but uh, it's the first time I was able to try this now that I do have Commander Soka Tano at Relic 7. Okay, guys, this is all for today's video. Hopefully, it was useful and helpful showing you these three teams, especially the Wookiees and the Saw Guerrera mission, just in case, you know, you're looking forward to getting your squad up, just that you can see how mission works uh, and as well, you know, what unit works well and how they interact with everything. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you my friends.